Yeah. All right. But what I thought I'd start doing is uh, start a diary. Okay, why? Just because I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Just thought, write it down, write, write stuff down. And like do you that. hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys' diary? Um, I haven't heard of that. Is it any good? <laughs> You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, 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 the most the, famous diary uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's sat in a, you know, a loft knocking stuff up, not much going on in her life at that point, yet sure. she was still writing it down. Yeah, whereas so, well, you'd I'm be degraded holiday, area, yeah. I thought, so there is stuff going on that I can chat about. Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary? Yeah. And what are you going to do? You, did, you, did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just, uh... Oh, can I read it, please? Well, a diary's meant to be sort C of... Uh, please, can I read some out on this podcast? I... Carl! Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of... Oh, coming... this is... Please, give me it. Oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I haven't just... Look how big it is! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh one my of God. desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long. And it's... Ma oh, that is amazing. Imagine if Anne Frank's had been like that. As she got out... <laughs> Right, uh, everyone would have heard it clanked down on the desk. Yeah, but my writing's quite big, isn't it? Oh look, give us oh, that. Do you give know, us that. Do you know about joined up writing? Have you this heard about is that? No Amazing. Point. Sometimes you can't read it, can you? So it's best right, okay. to look oh, at, look at oh look! Times. The, oh my God! It starts on the first day. This is this is wonderful. Going on holiday to Gran Canaria today. Woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention. That would be good! Right. A, a watch that counted down your life. If it says you've got three days left, <laughs> go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Told Suzanne about invention. She said she wouldn't buy one. But she said that about the iPod. How, uh, and how would this device work, this watch? I mean, how would you, uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Have you, is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about, presumably the boffins. And no, all I was thinking is that Tony Banks fella, you know, he died and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had, like, a little watch on... But how did... Well, you can't just say, wouldn't it be good? How how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you're in the patent office going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, yeah, Mr. Bogan, what's your idea? Watch that counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? What? Just, just, well, it, just pop it on your wrist. No, 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 what do you mean, just pop it on your wrist? How does it work, just pop it on your wrist? Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Grand Canary was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's querying his own, his own delight. He's wondering yeah. if it would know. He's invented this. He's and invented, <laughs> now he's over <laughs> shot. Uh, a fellow on the plane was reading Koi Mag. It was a fishing magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. <laughs> Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do dedicated entirely to carp, and it had it had Carp of the Month, and I just thought, you know, once you're like three months in, the editor must be stressing. Have we got any more carp? Have we got a carp that's actually done anything? That's I reckon if they used the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. No, that, well, that's the carp they used two years ago. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. He yeah. was playing on his PSP while I waited to go to the toilet. I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, he can't even face playing a more active game on a games console. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Suzanne got off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> Everywhere's pretty rough, paving and slopey. Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. <laughs> day two in Gran Canaria. Brilliant, we're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. <laughs> that's oh, enough, isn't it? That's amazing! Well, you may right. as well let me read on a bit more. Okay? No, this is amazing. Well, look, come back this to is a now. brilliant diary. This might be the best diary ever written. Oh. While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? Just, just that, uh you know, when, I, when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right, and I was thinking about stuff. <laughs> How do you it? know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because, because what I mean is, say, say if I was like, if I saw something, right, do you know how I say, like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, <laughs> no, but that was I don't have said. to, but in, I, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought, the thought appears, it's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like, um, I go, Rick, what? 
Just uh, looking at a fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was, yeah. Um, I was thinking it looks a bit weird. Oh, so was I. I don't, I don't think out whole sentences. Whereas you have, Carl, <laughs> Carl, li Carl, stop listening to the kinks for a minute. Look over there. More, more cross-eyed people. <laughs> no, well that's, yeah, that's Is that how your mind works? In a way, yeah. And Brilliant. that's when, it, because, because <laughs> I thought- That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that he has to think about whole sentences. Cause I thought, that's weird, isn't it? Like, I didn't think, that's weird, isn't it? And I no. thought, I actually think in my accent. And then I thought, does Stephen Hawking, does he, when he's doing his maths and that, mm. is he, I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. I think he's from, uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford right. or something. Right, so... So you think he might think in his... In, in his, his voice, in that, yeah. in that voice in computerised voice. Just wondered. Had lunch inside today due to shite weather. Sat next to an old fella. Old men's ears and noses carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> day three, cloudy start to the day. Had pie and chips in a cafe. Had a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Changed my mind when I saw the... They sold pie though. <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos. But we never saw his wife. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest holiday in the world. <laughs> uh, I'm entertainment in that town. Went back to the hotel and had a sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like, you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. <laughs> you've done nothing so far. <laughs> he's done nothing, he's got a hip. <laughs> oh, God, God. Uh, uh, woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Why does he write this down? Oh, God. Oh. There is a fat bloke from Bolton who is in the pool as I write this. He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. He just felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. i just seen it get to the point where you're going, breathed in, <laughs> yeah. breathed out again. There was a big fat fella in the sea who kept his t-shirt on. If you're big and fat, is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? I asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak, <laughs> but Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. <laughs> Just let him wait in to see if he's going <laughs> to capsize. <laughs> we go home today, so we got up early to get the last bit of cloud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it wasn't. Uh, it, it's, it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that if it was like that here, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we've got to sit in it. Put your coat on. So, are you going to continue to write this diary every yeah, single day? It's amazing. Keep this diary up. It's no, amazing. I, I, no, I will. I will keep it up because what I find as well is, I think earlier on before I went away, I think I did learn something. And because I wrote it down, I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So what was that? I just was thinking then. I forgot it now, but <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all because I remembered the end of it before I read it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if you've enjoyed uh, um, the diary of Carl Pilkington. Um, more next week, I hope. Another week's worth. That's amazing. I'm going to try and get that published. We've put the, uh, the odd page up on the uh, web. Go to rickygervais.com. Don't forget to register there as well so we can email you and let you know uh, what's happening. Brilliant. The Ricky Gervais Show.